session um, with lots of ideas from from leaders across all sectors uh, coming together to make a difference to our to our world. I think uh, the event that is organized by Big Jam uh, today uh, is a very important and interesting one that is trying to identify uh, potential solutions, identifying problems and what can be done in terms of enhancing uh, trying to achieve sustainable development goals as well as dealing with climate related problems and uh, using the lens of uh, higher education. Very encouraged by the event today. I think Britcham is, is targeting a very important area linking human capital development to some of uh, the key sustainability goals both corporate and in the public sector in Indonesia. It's a privilege and I'm so honored to be one of the panelists for this ministerial event of Richam, which is, uh, is a great opportunity to share some of the insight, some of the outcomes that SEMA is doing when building a future talents on the, uh, which are relevant with the sustainability and also meet the ESG goals. We're as invited as a panelist today here at the Britchame uh, event. Absolutely fantastic uh, panels today and very thought provoking. Uh, and a lot of challenges identified around sustainability and the talent uh, pool that we're struggling to get hold of that if we need to push and develop this sector. We're in this uh, event, we can learn a lot from uh, important people, not just from private sector, but also from the government and also from social entrepreneurs. And this event should be done uh, more and there should be a follow-up this event on uh, especially how to uh, develop the skill and knowledge and attitude of leadership in sustainability and ESG. It's a privilege for me to join Bridgeham event today uh, as one of the panelists. I uh, had the opportunity to share about uh, my experience, my challenges, how do I overcome it and what's the benefit of my uh, green enterprises. So really glad to share it with everyone and also it's very insightful for me personally to get also insights about the human capital and education from other industries. What do I think of the event today? Yeah, look, uh, some great panelists, uh, some very uh, experienced moderators um, uh, and some very big topics as well which as always with these events you never get enough time to quite cover all the areas you want to but um, certainly I think uh, it left people with uh, plenty of food for thought which is the design of this. Uh, I think what's un undeniable is that sustainability and the leadership needed covers all industries, all sectors um, and is something which will only continue to expand and grow so expect to see many more events of this nature hopefully led through the British Chamber of Commerce. I was on one of the panels today um, discussing various ways that location data can impact supply chain and can obviously save the client money but also can um, help them reduce their carbon footprint. So it was a, I think, very well put together event. Many experts from many different fields. Some of these people knowing far more than me. There's been lots of conversation about ESG, ethical business, and how that translates into both corporate and into the SME space. I've loved being able to understand the impact that that's going to have on the 21st century and how that's going to shape the way that we trade. Quite happy with the uh, with how you organise the thing. Hopefully, it's happy like that. Like, like, Participasi lagi. Terima kasih. This event is very fruitful because uh, we really in deal with of, uh, any discussion, any updates on the most recent development as well as innovation going on. And 
by uh, having this kind of event that is actually upgrading our knowledge, upgrading our skills, while at the same time expanding our network for, that, for us to collaborate further with the um, to reach uh, the gap uh, and relationship between the Indonesian entrepreneurs and association with the British. Thank you for Bridgeham to organize this uh, really uh, useful event, really uh, valuable. So in terms of what I think about today is about, um, as per my question earlier, how do we instill commitment from all the key stakeholders, not only from the private sector, but also from the public, the academia, NGOs, media, how do we prioritize the agenda of ASG and increasing competence and commitment so that we can achieve the goals of the 2030 agenda. Well, today we're attending the first ministerial series of the year and we're discussing about uh, about growing the Indonesian talent to drive sustainability and ESG goals. And first of all, I think the topic itself is really interesting and unique. Uh, you know, when we talk about ESG and sustainability, uh, mostly we will usually focus on the goals, the strategy, you know, the, the action plans on E, S, and G itself. Um, and we tend to forget that there are people and talent behind all those goals who will be driving and make them happen, you know. So, second of all, for me, who's looking after some portions of ESG in my uh, organization, um, obviously there's a lot to learn from all the sessions today. I mean, it's still progressing, but uh, it's really insightful. You know, um, the inspirational sharing from all the speakers, panelists from across the industry has been really insightful. So, look forward to the next series and other forums in the future. Uh, so today is a very good topic. Uh, thank you for uh, letting us to actually to be one of the participants. So what is what we learned today is actually how the actually that we are very struggled in human capital, but I, I, I and SDG as well. Um, it's good to, uh, to understand about the, all the barriers and then so then we can overlook, uh, we can see uh, what we can do in actually in 2023 in order to actually to grow uh, and expand our business. Thank you. Thank you for the, uh, the event itself. Thank you. Yeah, this has been a really fascinating event so far. We're all, as schools, we're all struggling and coming to terms with the, the need to move towards a more sustainable and net zero goal. And it's really, it's a, it's a challenge that, uh, as a school, is very much faced by our constituency, which is, uh, which is the children. So if we don't address these issues now, if we don't build them into uh, the education of our students, um, then, you know, who is going to make those changes both now and in the future? The sessions have been wonderful, the plenary session and the, uh, the panels so far have been full of insight. I really, really enjoyed today's session so far. I'm very impressed at the, at the, at the uh, panelists and uh, the resource persons invited in order to, to give us more inputs on uh, deepening uh, this topic on sustainability and uh, the need for all the industry and us from the education sector to be really involved in this uh, concern that is uh, facing us for this generation and for the next generation for the sustainability of our planet. Thank you. So I thought that this event is very interesting uh, for myself. Um, it's for networking and also gain more knowledge about the, uh, especially for the ESG sector and uh, seeing uh, what what uh, kind of industries in Indonesia focus on the ESG science. So for us today, this event has been very positive. First of the mill serial series. Uh, given the particular focus on the education segment and the education group, uh, this is quite valuable for us, not only in terms of the speakers and the information, but actually the networking opportunities. For us, there's been a lot of uh, Indonesian universities here, so it's given us a great opportunity to network. It's been very well organized, very well promoted, so we look forward to, to attending more. Thank you for Bridgeham for inviting your chair to, um, to the panel discussion, because I've I find the panel discussion very insightful. Um, so many interesting angles we can look at from uh, in ESG, um, ranging from the uh, professionals from financial industry and tech and government sectors as well. So bravo for Bridgeham for um, organizing this event as well um, and involving influential um, experts on ESG as well as for the warm hospitality. So thank you. 
I'm here today for one of Richam's uh, events. Um, I think the, the event is very insightful. I learned a lot about uh, one of the um, very interesting topics these days, the SG and sustainability. And because uh, Richam has invited uh, various uh, uh, people from different backgrounds, um, I get like different perspectives, you know, like uh, academics, uh, entrepreneurs, uh, companies, uh, non-profit organizations, and uh, government officials. So I think this is a very insightful and eye-opening uh, event. Uh, great job. Great job, great job. It's been an honor to attend this event. We brainstorm about how we can accelerate the sustainability and ESG for our future generations. Also, how we can utilize AI, for example, to do that, and how we can collaborate with the more private sectors, the, the governments, and also the educational institutions. This type of dialogue we need to be continuously done for our future world, which is planet Earth. Thank you. Today is really, really a great day where I learned a lot of uh, things from the panelists uh, from this uh, British uh, Chamber Ministerial Series. So a big question for us to answer here was actually the Indonesian leadership talent. And again, the main concern all over the world is actually we want to actually drive the sustainability and ESG goals. And uh, through this uh, conference, uh, the, the UK and Indonesia can actually have a strong partnership to actually realize this goal and basically to just improve all the uh, society's uh, life uh, in, in these uh, both countries. Uh, so a big success for the Bridgem uh, Ministerial Series uh, event in the future. Hopefully we can work together. Thank you. It's great to be here today. The university um, has campuses in Singapore and Malaysia, but we're really interested in forming greater educational partnerships in Indonesia, research uh, relationships in Indonesia. We have a lot of colleagues who are already engaged in a wider Southeast Asia. So this was a great event actually for us. It was really interesting. We met lots of people who um, it would be great to be connected with both in terms of that talent pipeline and how the university can contribute towards that. So yeah, this was, this was a great introduction to Indonesia for us. So uh, thank you to the British Chambers for inviting us. I would like to thank you for Richem because for informing and emailing us about the event here. I found the event is very useful, very insightful because not only we're able to create a, a new networking, especially within the human capital as well as in the uh, um, education and totally it's a big industry for us and we want to expand the business as well and we also learn about how the business is growing especially within the education and in HR. I was able earlier to connect with a lot of people from the HR in which uh, we definitely need their assistance as well as a lot of collaboration that might be a benefit for our business. So thank you Richard for inviting us and uh, good luck for all any uh, upcoming events. Thank you for 